Welcome to another vintage book review and today we're going to have a look at Prehistoric Life, The Rose of the Vertebrates by Dr. David Norman. So firstly, no copyright intended, all artwork belongs to their owners. And what's interesting, this is a sequel to this book that I reviewed recently by Dr. David Norman. So this is the actual the sequel of the book, which it actually mentions it inside, which is pretty cool. And I really like the artwork we've got going on here for the front because it wraps all the way around and you've got like the explosion of life and just all the different creatures that have lived throughout the history of the earth. So let's dig in to the book. This is a real nice book because it has plenty of nice illustrations from the famous John Sibic. And this is all the way from 1994. Yep. So I will skip over the usual information that we get in books like this like how you know the universe was created and how the earth formed and how animals and plants are fossilized and all the tectonics and, and um, volcanic eruptions and so forth all that stuff I'll skip over that, beginning of life, which is good. So this book has a lot of good information, a lot of good information. So it's really good for young adults and teenagers. A lot of the information still holds up well now. And obviously some of it is outdated due to time being a factor. So this is a really nice piece of artwork here. So this is the Cambrian, I believe. Yeah, just really unusual creatures and I'm not gonna try and pronounce any creature that I can't pronounce because I always butcher these names I, I have all my life. But really beautiful artwork here. And just yeah, it just goes over the different groups and you know how things evolve. Great artwork to represent the information. This is a nice page as well. And it's good in this book because you get some nice drawings, you get some fossils some animals of today that's one weird creature I really love the name of this creature what they named it um, Hallucingina what a great name for an obscure animal like that and we've got some more beautiful artwork here and with some of our really bizarre creatures It's really nice to see a book that dedicates so many pages to the earlier stages of life. It's one thing I really like about this book. Alright, so we move to the middle, I think middle Cambrian and might be the Ordovician period. Another nice piece of artwork there. Obviously we get more groups, more animals start becoming more and more complex. There's more diversity. Is that a trailer bike? Yep. 
So we've got so many different species of trilobite. They're so cute, the trilobites. <laughs> and it's like in some fissures. So obviously we're getting closer to the Devonian period. The age of fissures. The ancestors of sharks and so forth. So yeah, this is a real, real good book. It's Carboniferous period, I think. Another nice piece of artwork. These amphibian-like critters. They're just relaxing. Actually, this still might be the Devonian period. That's when trees and plants started evolving more. It might still be the Devonian period. But we'll find out soon enough. There we go, it's kind of interest there. Beautiful forest. Yeah, I've actually found this on the in the op shop in the thrift store a few years ago. And you're gonna see that we're in the permian period, you're gonna see my icon for my YouTube channel at the moment. Coming up. We like how it talks about eggs, how eggs evolve so then animals can go further and further into land. There we go. Dimetrodon. This is my logo. I remember I took a picture of this. I really like that picture. Dimetrodon is probably one of my favorite creatures of all time. And the Permian period is, it's probably my favorite. It's probably a tie between the Permian and the Cretaceous. Just makes me wonder if we didn't have that mass extinction at the end of the Permian, how life would have evolved, you know, how different life could have been. So, all right, now we get to the, the age of the dinosaurs. I think it's just a bit of a this is obviously a Cretaceous scene here and it's a Jurassic scene so probably probably a bit of a mix of the periods Brothosaurus Placodons Marine Reptiles pretty cool it's a nice picture too that one These are early dinosaurs, I think. Some are early flying pterosaurs. And there's a Quetzalcoatlus. That's a nice picture. Sauropods. Galoi. It's my favorite pterosaur. All right, I think we're getting on to the actual dinosaurs. Dinosaurs soon. There we go. It's that Ceratosaurus. We can see if we can get an easy meal. One of these youngsters. Really nice with the sh whoop, with the shadows as well. Beautiful artwork. I 
Right, so this is Deonychus. Yeah, so yeah, the, as you can see, this Deonychus does not represent what Deonychus would look today, but still a great piece of art. And yeah, back in the 90s, it was always like Deonychus, Storkin, Trentosaurus, always. Trentosaurus. Tenontosaurus, sorry. That's always a lot of books have those Deonychus praying and hunting, and then we've got what are these Tyrannosaurs? Yeah, different Tyrannosauruses here, I think. And different sauropods. What I like about this picture, it's got the really big sauropods, and I'm not sure if. If they're still valid today, I haven't checked that. They may not be valid. I think they were the same kind of species of their similar ancestors. I'm not too sure about that. So you got Seismosaurus, Ultrasaurus, and Supersaurus. So I don't know. That was something popular in the 80s and 90s, those particular dinosaurs, but I think they were over exaggerated or there's some controversy going to what I think. Got some nice hadrosaurs and pachys. I'm just kicking back. And this is Styracosaurus. Oh, this Centosaurus was trying to cross the river. Did I come come at the Saurus? No, yeah, let's see come at the Saurus. And I think now we're getting to the age of the mammals now. The rise of the mammals. It's Australia, the marsupials. Killer birds, that's what we want to see. I think some paleontologists now say that these killer birds didn't actually eat meat. They may have eaten like nuts and stuff and crack, cracked them open with their, their beaks. So I'd rather think of them as um, killer birds. Whales, have they evolved? There's the big boy, 15 tons. I remember that from Walking with Beasts. Elephants and relatives. Biggest buck teeth ever. <laughs> and the rise of primates. So yeah, while I'm finishing up the last few pages, a real good book, plenty of information. It's a nice one to have in the collection and to enjoy the beautiful artwork. This was a longer review, being a, a longer book. And I hope you all enjoyed this review and I'll see you oh, before I go there's a picture of Dr. David Norman and John C. Peak. you guys did a great job so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this review and I'll see you all next time